Hello guys, welcome back. In today's tutorial, we're going to go through how you guys go about creating a model in place. So what you guys want to do first is you want to decide which view you guys would like to be in when you go in to create your model in place. So I am going to go ahead and start off in my level one because I'm going to create a model in place that extrudes up from my floor level. Now, if you guys were doing something, let's just say for purpose of example, a bookshelf that you guys were doing custom from your wall. So you guys would want to make sure that you guys are probably in a section view so that you guys are looking at that wall and you guys can extrude from that. So it just depends on what you guys are creating custom, which view you guys are going to decide to be in. So for me, um, like I said, I'm going to stay in my level one. I'm going to go up to my architecture tab. I'm going to go over to component and I'm actually going to click on the fly out. Once I click on the fly out, you guys are going to notice that I have two options. I can choose to do place a component, which if you guys are new to Revit, you may or may not know. Um, if you guys click on place a component, that will take you guys to the furniture that Revit has available um, within the model itself. And you guys can just place those furniture pieces with model with place a component now model in place is um, what you guys are going to use if you guys are creating a component that is unique to the project itself or a custom component um, such as a table a bookshelf within the model itself so i'm going to go ahead and click once on model in place Once I click once on model in place, it will bring up your family category and parameters. Now what you guys are looking for here is what type of component you guys are trying to create. So um, you guys can, some of the common ones um, that you guys may choose is casework, um, something that's built in. Um, you guys can choose, um, if you guys were doing some type of custom ceiling, you guys can choose that as an option. Um, um, they have furniture as an option. And so, and a lot of times, a lot of um, people, when they're just starting off with model in place, they will just choose generic models. And that just means that it really doesn't have a category for what component you guys are um, building within the model space. For, so for just sake of example, I'm just going to go ahead and choose furniture. And okay. Um, you guys here can choose to name your furniture piece or name your component. I'm just going to leave it at furniture one uh, for purpose of example, and I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. Now, once you guys hit OK, your menu at the top will completely change. From my other videos, you guys know that anytime you guys see a green check mark or a red X, that means that we have to choose one of these to completely come out of this tool. So um, we want to make sure to keep that in mind because it won't let you guys do anything else um, back at the basic menu until you guys choose um, one of these options. Now, once you guys come into your model in place, it will give you six different options to choose from when you guys are um, selecting how you want to create your model in place. So for this um, tutorial, we are actually going to work with the extrusion. So I'm going to click once on that option. Once I click once in that option, my menu will change again. Now this is where you guys will start to create the component itself, right? What you guys want it to look like, um, what custom or unique properties you guys want um, to include in that. So you guys really wanna be thinking about, well, how, um, if I was in the field, how would I go about building um, this component? And that kind of really helps when um, you guys are getting into um, kind of some of the custom items inside of Revit. 
So before you guys actually choose what you guys are actually drawing and what you guys want that shape to be, um, you actually want to come over to your properties because it's going to be really important on what you guys see once you come out of this tool. So the first thing that I like to focus on is the constraints because these are going to be really important as far as how um, high you want that component to be if you want it to come off the ground at um, any point um, on that component these things are going to be important so the first option is your extrusion end which means that how high do you want that component to come up so for instance if I was building some type of custom table I might want that item to come off the ground two foot ten inches and I'm just going to click in that box once type in that dimension on my keyboard and hit enter um, I also have an option to decide where I want that table to start. So if you guys want that to come off the base level at um, any height, this is where you guys will want to type that in. So if I was just making, for instance, let's just say a free standing um, countertop, right? I may actually want this to come off the um, base two foot eight and then have that stop at two foot 10, which means that I would have a floating countertop at two inches, right? So those are gonna be the main two things that you guys want to make sure to um, type in. You also have the option to decide what you want that material to be. Um, that is a whole nother video, so we won't get into that here, but just know that you guys have the option um, to decide on that as well. So once you guys um, have those um, couple of options put in, you want to come to your model space itself and you actually want to decide, well, what is it that I'm trying to create custom? So let's just say I was trying to create a polygon coffee table, right? So I'm going to choose this as my option. That is how I'm going to draw uh, my component. I'm going to come to my model space. I'm going to click once to set that shape down and then I'm just going to move in and out to choose how wide I want that component to be. So I'm going to go out to three feet. I'm going to click a second time to set that down. Remember we're taking this component up to two foot ten so our height is already set. And um, just for pur purpose of example let's just say this is all I want to do with this. I'm going to hit escape to just come out of draw mode. And then um, if I'm happy with what I have custom within my um, space, and just for purpose of example, let's actually just create um, just something else within there just so we can see really how custom that can be. Um, one um, thing to keep important about model um, in place, you have to have a closed loop on anything that you guys create. So it can't just be a random line um, out here by itself. It has to be connected to something and it has to create a closed um, shape of some type, right? So once you guys are happy with that item, you wanna go ahead and hit that green check mark it will bring you back to just kind of a preview of that model in place. And what's kind of, um, I would say, weird about this component is you actually have to click a second time um, to completely come out of that tool. So while you're in this view, you actually, this is actually just a preview um, of what you guys have created. And to come completely out of that, I'm going to create, hit finish model. And now I have my custom table that I've created and if I wanted to see that in a 3D I would just click on my 3D view I can move in tilt that up and you guys are able to see that custom table so really with model in place um, the sky is the limit you guys can really create anything um, that your mind can think of it's just a matter of thinking about how you guys want to go about um, creating that component what pieces do you guys want to include um, to come up with that idea so that is um, the basics of using your model in place um, in your extrusion tool with that. Um, there will be more videos to come on some of the other um, tools with their model in place, so keep a lookout for that. Um, if you guys found this video helpful, please hit like and subscribe, and also feel free to leave a comment below on um, any video or recommendations that you guys would like to see.